ako eh. Yan ang tinanong mo sa akin eh. Pero baka yung German event. Oo po sir. Sa harap mo yan, si German event. Who can show us result list like this ex farmer? In the last years, he slowed down with the farming, and now he lives in a very quiet neighborhood together with his wife where he can fully concentrate on the pigeons. Not that he has a super big loft, because Germain doesn't want that and he will keep on reducing his number of pigeons in the next years. It's not because he is tired of keeping pigeons, it's just because his son and his two grandsons live 50 meters down the street and they have about 50 horses and sometimes Germain needs to help a little bit. For many years, the name of Germain Imbricht has been very famous in the pigeon sport. He is not only famous in Belgium or Europe, but all over the world. Germain has already his place among all the big ones of pigeon sport. His pigeons have been so successful that Germain was someone who people were always afraid to compete with. In 1971, during his first auction of one round of youngsters, all the famous and not so famous fanciers came from everywhere to have the opportunity to buy an embricked pigeon. A few years later it appeared that the pigeons from this auction produced a lot of price-winning pigeons. Now the hunting on the embricked pigeons was even bigger. The huge popularity is clearly an improvement of the power of this extraordinary strain, the breeding value, and also, the high trust that all fanciers have in the imbricked pigeons. A fancier will never pay a lot of money if he knows the pigeon won't breed top pigeons, they only pay a lot of money if they are convinced of the breeding value of the pigeons. That's the most important reason why the imbricked pigeons are so popular everywhere in the world. In the Netherlands, the US, Japan, France, Taiwan, Australia, Philippines. These pigeon went to the breeding loft to breed top pigeons. Germain Imbricht was born in 1935. When he was 12 years old, his parents moved to Bourneville, about 50 miles south of Brussels. His father was a farmer and worked on the farm together with his wife on an area of more than 50 hectare. Later Germain will follow the example of his father and will become a farmer too. Germain always had a feeling with animals. When he started taking care of animals, people said he could talk to the animals. It's probably the same gift that made him such a fantastic pigeon fancier. Germain started playing pigeons with some real quality pigeons, that's why he immediately had great successes. He bred his first Espoir in 1960 and won the Outroad Nizens, ORN in 1964 and became Rouge de Villages in 1967. These pigeons would become the pigeons on which he based his breeding. Esper with ring number 6237-1430, a pigeon of Desmet Methods, was one of the best pigeons there ever were. This pigeon was really desperate to win. Germain was always a little bit nervous just before the pigeon should arrive. He was afraid something would go wrong during the flight. But all these concerns weren't necessary because Espoir always arrived home safely, and only a few moments after his arrival the pigeon was again full of energy. However Espoir was always performing well on the short distances, this pigeon also had the intelligence and the strength to fly longer distances. The Outrost Nessens, with ring number 64679096 bred out of bloodline Catrice Cross Sticklebutt, was also a good racer. His biggest quality was his power of endurance next to his vitality. He never arrived home very tired, even when the race was hard and long. ORN was a beautiful son of de Geschelt Nessens 56 344 92 54, a catrice pigeon. The mother was de Rode de Wibin 56 34 42 19 a pure sticklebot and on her turn a granddaughter of the famous Spain racer Bilbao from the loft Nessens from Dottenlidges. The goal of Germain was to base his collection of pigeons on the irresistible winning mood of the Espoir crossed with the unbelievable power of endurance of ORN, and the Rouge de Villegas, who had the blood of Bricou, Cyan, Vandervelt and Van Der Esp in his veins. Germain obtained this beautiful road doffer ring number 67208-5605 of Earl de Villegas, who used the farm and the fields of Germain as his hunting ground. This cock was one of the most expensive pigeons in the total auction of late Van der Asp. One descendant of the so many great descendants of these great pigeons took our full attention, 
His was the S boy ring number 75 211 80 58 who became ace pigeon long distance in 1978 and 1979. This pigeon was one of the big hits in the 31st Salon of the Belgish Rice Duif in 1980. During the years the loft of Imbricht became a synonym of brilliant performances nationally and internationally. Class pigeons at all distances and also the breeding quality is proven already. That's why not only Germain races well with his strain but also a lot of other fanciers in Belgium and everywhere in the world. For the moment, there are still several famous bloodlines in the Imbricht pigeons, the Foo, Espoir, Rouge de Villegas, and Vio Rouge Nessens. The Imbricht colony counts about 20 breeding couples and 40 widowers of 2-year-old and more. He will add 30 to 40 yearlings to that who still have to learn the racing because in their first year they only participated at some flights near to the border. The widowers are divided in four lofts. Half of them can raise a couple of youngsters and the other half has to be satisfied by breeding two times. In this case the eggs of the best racers are given to the feeders. When the pigeons return of the race they receive very varied feed, to which the pigeons mostly don't pay a lot of attention to, because they pay more attention to their hen. His pigeons only receive vitamins in the beginning of June. Just like electrolytes, the day after the races. Germain does not believe in giving medicines to his pigeons. He prefers to visit an expert. The number of flights the yearlings have to participate in has increased a little bit the last years. In the past they only had to participate on four or five flights. Now they participate at at least eight flights. Between those eight there is sometimes Beziers or Perpignan. Germain prefers to race the long distance. The career of a long distance pigeon only starts when he or she is two or three years old. Germain avoids the races in April because the weather during this period is still too cold. If you do it anyway Germain says it will stop the increasing of the shape completely with the risk that the shape won't come back later in the season. Germain also thinks that there aren't any real long distance flyers. He believes it's all about the shapes and the muscles of the pigeon and the food that is adjusted according to the distance. The legendary Foo for example won first prizes on Angleim, St. Vincent and Barcelona. But it didn't prevent him from making great results also on races like Quivrain, Pont St. Maxence and St. Denis, which are sprint distances. The pigeon made Bourneville is world famous and honored because of his extremely high resistance in the toughest and hardest races. The number of national and international winners who have the blood of Embrick in their veins is increasing every day. New reinforcements. Germain does not want to have too many bloodlines in his loft so he will never purchase a pigeon without a purpose. He purchased the first international from Marseille 2003 hens from the Frenchman Gilbert Villeneuve. His latest reinforcements were three pigeons that he bought from the top-class loft of Harry and Roger Winans in Maastricht, Netherland. It might be coincidence, but he bought two red-colored pigeons and a checkered hen. He still has a soft spot for red or checkered pigeons. A lot of his big stars including Old Red Nessens, El Espoir, Le Fou and Rouge de Villegas all had a red color as well. The first pigeon from Maastricht is 2006 217 The sire is a Jan Thielen pigeon and stems from the bloodlines of Blois Browers combined with the old line of Winans based on the first national Marseille 2005. The second reinforcement is the 2007 105 38 54. The sire is the famous Pozzato, winner of a first prize national Bordeaux against 5,279 pigeons and a first international against 9,001 pigeons in 2004. Dam is the 2,101033, a Jan Thielen pigeon, which is another descendant of Browers and Gisselbricht Carlo from Nesselar, based on the line of the king. The 96th National Limoges against 19,250 pigeons and a 61st National Barcelona against 11,214 pigeons. The third pigeon he obtained from Wynans is the 2006 143 a sister of Pozzato, the first international Bordeaux. In 2012, the yearlings that were bred from the new couples were tested in the long-distance races for one-year-old and it proved a great success. Thank you for watching. Until next time.